What do you think is the top issue <clears throat> facing the Knox County Mayor as he imagines, or Glenn as he would see it? That's a tough question. As you all know, there's a lot of issues that the county's currently facing. Number one right now is our infrastructure. We want to make sure we have the proper things in place so we can meet the needs of the county. And of course, you want to make sure you're doing that without raising taxes because a lot of times politicians will say, well, we need to raise taxes to make sure we can meet these needs. No, there's plenty of areas in Knox County that spending can be cut back or reined in before we ever talk about raising taxes. The other thing that's really relevant right now in Knox County that I'm sure these other two men are going to speak about as well is the opioid epidemic. This is something that's not only affecting our kids in schools, it's affecting our overcrowded of our, our jails and detention centers and things like that. You need a mayor who's willing to come at this and work with every level of our community to fight this epidemic. Glenn knows and understands that the Knox County mayor cannot fight this epidemic on his own. He wants to work with not only the public sector and the private sector, he wants to get together with the nonprofits, the churches, the community organizations, and, and all those folks and bring everybody together because this is huge, and if we don't deal with this issue and kick the can down the road, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. So Glenn's big thing right now, of course, is keeping taxes low and, and fighting the opioid issue. Also, one last thing, if I'm okay on time, we have a veteran services department here in Knox County that does a really good job. However, 25% of our homeless population is comprised of veterans. Glenn believes that's wrong. It's unconstitutional. It's unpatriotic. These guys put their lives on the line to give us the freedom that we enjoy and really a lot of us don't deserve because we don't really appreciate it as much as we do. But Glenn wants to make sure that these men and women that have put their lives on the line and served are getting the proper services when they get back home. So Glenn would like to see that department expanded to make sure that our veterans are being helped through the system to get the benefits that they were promised and the benefits that they deserve. <clears throat> All those are important issues. The opioid epidemic is obviously something that's on everybody's mind. It's affecting everyone. Every family has been affected by it. <clears throat> if you've not been affected by it as a family member, I'm sure that your business or your, your church has. Really, the next mayor can really make the most impact in, in one area that I think is most important, or just as important, is workforce development. We've got a group of kids that are never going to see, they're never going to see a college. They're never going to apply for college. They're never going to walk into college. And we've got to find a way in our school system to have a dual track, a college track and a trades track. And we've got to prepare these people for the workforce for the job they can walk into and make sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 walking into a, being a plumber, a welder, a trades, a craftsman. Um, you know, I've always worked in economic development with the county. In 2008, when I came on, I'd already met with the economic development folks. And, and we went to, if you guys recall, Lifetime Plastics just announced you know last year or so that they're going to they've opened up a distribution center and a manufacturing facility in East Knox East Knox County and when we walked in that door there was a young lady there to cut the ribbon there was a young lady there that spoke to some of the economic development people and she said you know when I walked in here I doubled my take-home pay that's the kind of impact I want to make as a county county mayor setting these kids up for success and setting our county up for success changes the trajectory of families and so if you can change the trajectory of a family, you can change a community. And I think that's the most important thing that a mayor can do, and that's what I'm going to do as a mayor. You know, when I was driving here, I was, this is one of those luncheons where it's made up mostly of women. I'll have a lot of you guys snuck in here. But a, a lot of you were mentors of children and your, your families, and you were the first uh, leaders and mentors for these people that are, are becoming our uh, our society here and the mayor when he walks into the office I think it's uh, it's first it's about leadership but it's about education as well it's about mentoring all these uh, people that we need to uh, lead into the you know, the rest of their lives education is going to be huge and I'm sure a lot of you all feel like you were on the very forefront of that I think education will be the cornerstone of what we need to do going, going forward. Education answers a lot of questions. It solves a lot of problems. That may sound like a very broad answer, but it really is true. Just uh, like whether it's somebody that can't decide what they want to do, or if somebody wants to continue their education into uh, be a lawyer, a doctor, or whatever, but also uh, somebody that wants to, uh, let's say somebody in the opioid 
uh, <laughs> epidemic itself right there. A lot of that is people that have no hope or they did not have opportunities they felt like they, they needed. And with education, we can solve a lot of problems as we move forward. The new mayor needs to be able to lead that. The other Bob Thomas, the taller, good looking one, he and I have talked many times about education and how we can move it forward uh, coming in the, in the coming years. And I think that's something we all have to really focus on and will make a big difference in our county.